god, I look so sexy. Oh. oh my god. Hi, 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 hi. So I thought my Postmates was here, but it wasn't. But it was bed, no. Bath and Body Works candles, three-way candles. Oh my God, it's here, it's fall, it's season times, it's happening, it's candle season. They were doing a candle sale, it was buy two, get two free, and yes, I do make my own candles, but I cannot resist a Bath and Body Works candle sale, a three-way candle sale. Who can resist it? No one can resist it. I'm sorry, I lost my cool. Anyway, I don't even remember what scents I got. I just got really excited to purchase them and now they're here. So guess what we will be smelling tonight. If you can't guess, I just don't know how to help you. Candle reveal later, ooh. Just keeping you at the edge of your seat on this channel, keeping you at the very, very edge. We're about to wash dishes. Did you know that? You didn't know. You never know what to expect here. You just, you never know. The scent was spiced apple toddy. Spiced apple toddy, everyone. I know you're at the edge of your seat. Moving on. Hello, good morning. Two bits of news for you. Oh, don't mind this um, look. This is a new look for us on this channel. We have a Patreon live stream this morning and uh, there's a costume element to it. So I'm dressed as a guy that sold his car for crypto and I think I did a pretty good job. There's that. Second bit of news. Okay, I tried poly gels for the second time and I think I did a way better job. There's a learning curve, but by the second time, I did pretty good. These took me six hours, but I had to freehand the nail art, which as you can see is not perfect. However, I think the poly gel part worked out really well. Like as you can see, like I got the product to go right up to the cuticles without going over the cuticles. And I think they look pretty freaking good on this hand. Uh, on this hand, this was done with my non-dominant hand and you can see like where the product didn't go to the cuticles, like on a, a this nail. Um, and then this one, it went over the cuticles over here and the nail art isn't uh, as, as good, but Scorpio season, baby, hell yeah, slap it high. The color part that you see, the black part is actually gel color and I wanted to test to see if I could paint it over poly gels because I heard you can and yes, you can. But um, yeah, I wish I would have, wish I would have used an easier design or no design. But hey, there's that. We know it works now, and I I know like some tips and tricks for what I did wrong last time that I corrected, and I think I did a, a pretty decent job. That's what I want to tell you. I don't know, but I'm almost gonna be late. I have to go make a drink. Um, it's ten in the morning, and yes, we make drinks at ten in the morning for our live stream because. It's a party channel, so. Oh my God, I look so sexy. Yeah, I would bone me. Do I make you horny, baby? Yeah. Do I? Mm -hmm. Do I make you ranzy? Mm -hmm. Do you want to shag me, baby? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ew, you love yourself, ew. Mm -hmm. Ew, you're obsessed with yourself, mm -hmm. oh my God. I won the poker tournament. Did you? Yeah, I'm drunk, and also we had a Patreon poker tournament. I won, won 50 bucks of my own money. Oh yeah, what are you gonna do with it? Yeah, I'm gonna buy an outfit. Shout out to all the people that played poker with me today. <laughs> you thought you stood a chance. <laughs> so I haven't been vlogging that much because most of the stuff that I've been vlogging about, okay, so I have been vlogging, but I haven't been posting that much because most of the stuff I've been vlogging about is stuff that I haven't talked about yet. So anyways, that's coming, but this next week coming up is gonna be so busy. And um, today is, I think, like the start of the busyness. We are shooting like two or three episodes of Shit They Don't Tell You, maybe four over this weekend. Um, I'm getting product in for our next launch of Kittens and Coffee, so I have to take a bunch of pictures of that. Next week is my birthday. It's a very big milestone. I'm turning the age where you can officially be president, if you want, of the United States, if you want. I don't really want to, but I could if I wanted. And then right now, I almost forgot, but uh, luckily I set my alarm because my brain forgets things. Um, and we there is there is an event down the street from this store. Okay, how do I, let me articulate. When I first moved to LA, I started going to a store called House of Intuition. They had just opened, they sold crystals, they had a tea room, they had tarot card readers, and I loved it. I fell in love immediately. I just liked the energy, it was like cool. They had like cool candles you could buy too. Um, anyway, they ended up exploding, like just 
they're everywhere now. Like so many people know about them now. I mean, they have so many locations. They're sold, some of their items are sold at Urban Outfitters. Like they went like so mainstream big where, I mean, that doesn't really happen much for like little local crystal shops, but maybe they were like using the right crystals to expand business, I don't know. Anyway, I say that to say this, I've been waiting forever for them to open a location in the Valley and they are now. The, today is the first unofficial opening, so they're doing an event today to kind of like welcome it, but it doesn't officially open for another couple weeks, I think. I can't remember, but anyway, there's an event today called The Mirror, and they call it an experience. I don't know much about it, they left it very mysterious, but it's uh, an experience, and it's right down the street, so we're gonna check it out. So I put real people clothes on, and I put some makeup on, and. We're doing things, we're doing things today. Now is when things officially start. Huzzah! Oh, I didn't buckle my shoe, okay. Oh yeah, I have cute shoes. That's ISO. <laughs> rack it up, rack it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse. I love this experience because it's just me over and over again. Like it's just me and a bunch of mirrors. Well, yeah, sure. It's a lot of me. Oh my god, there's me. Check it out, check it out, check it out. Got some stuff from House of Intuition. First of all, I got this hot oil burner, but I forgot to get a tea light. Oops. So I need to get tea lights for that. And then I got some frankincense to burn in there. I got this Honoring Your Ancestors candle, which I actually got this same exact candle for Tiff last year. Um, but I wanted one because I keep dreaming about my grandma. And as you know, the Day of the Dead is coming up. It also happens to be my birthday. So I thought I'd try to like honor my ancestors this year, um, especially my grandma and my other non-biological grandma that recently passed um, and my grandpa. So we'll see how that goes. And then I got this because I'm always looking for something to hold my freaking Palo Santo. And that's just perfect. I have a lot of hand items now that peace candle from the kitten rescue auction, and then the thing that holds my jewelry, um, and then now this, and it's so cute. Okay, this guy is, uh, it's also like an incense burner, but you put a coal in there, and then you have like the little sprinkly dudes that go on top, and then that's how it happens, but I got this specific version because I saw it on um, House of Intuition's Instagram a while back, and I thought it was so cute because they had it next to a cat like this. <laughs> and it looks like a little witch's cauldron with a cat and it just is so cute. They had other versions of this so it's like more year round but I just thought a cauldron was so cute for this. I know, I'm super weird. And then all of these things I got for Tiff because she's into similar things like this and then it's her birthday in November as well. So I just got a bunch of stuff for her birthday. I got her another one of these because she likes moons also, if you couldn't tell from our Big Mood merch. And I got her this burning oil. It was really hard to decide what to get her, but um, for as far as the oil scent, I was trying to get something that maybe didn't upset her pregnancy nose. But um, Nag Champa just reminds me of like the quintessential early 2000s, 90s incense that we used to burn, and I feel like she might relate to that. So I got that one for her. Um, and then I got these because last time she was at um, the Big Mood shoot at my house, she was talking about these candle clipper things and where do you get them. And then I found this set that has the candle clipper and the candle snuffer, which I actually wanted to get one for me too, but I was like, I can't be buying doubles of everything, okay? So I left that. And then I got her this little kit of strength and victory uh, because She's strong, she's a strong woman, okay? She's a strong lady. She's creating human life right now inside of her. And also, I know she has other ambitions and goals, but she, sometimes she doesn't quite find strength to carry them through. So I feel like this is just like gonna push her over the edge a little bit. And then I got this candle for her this year. And it's called the Rebirth Candle because I feel like she's entering a new period of her life and I'm really excited for her. So that's all some tip stuff over there. 
and I'll wrap these and have it ready for the big mood shoot, which is a week from now. And yeah, I didn't expect to get goodies at that place. Well, maybe I did subconsciously, but how cool. I'm very excited about these. So yeah, that's it. That's all the updates that happened today. That was our day. And now we're about to shoot three episodes of shit they don't tell you, so. I don't, know, I don't know what that was. That's, I'm turning into a dad. Champ. I gotta tell you that I I've been looking for love so true.